coronavirus, on average, one person with coronavirus spreads to between two and three other people. If you don't have uh, vaccination and if you don't have social distancing, if you don't have these things in place, it is not like the measles, to be clear. I've worked on measles outbreaks, including here in Cook County. Measles is a disease that is airborne, that we worry about if you've just been in the same room as somebody with measles, there's a very high chance that you will catch it. I did a measles outbreak in a daycare here in the Cook County area, and we don't start vaccinating for measles until age one. We expected that probably all of the children under age one would get the measles, and in fact, all but one did. Because measles is so easily transmittable, one person can transmit to 18 people, it is broadly in the air. So this is not measles, that's good news. It's also not Ebola. So I worked on Ebola outbreaks. Ebola is, first of all, has a much higher mortality rate that really one in two people who are uh, infected with Ebola die. Um, but also, the, it, the, the potential for Ebola spread is even from uh, small breaks in the skin and the pot potential for touching people and having the virus get in, not just through the regular respiratory pathways, but through these other ways. And so some of the moon suits and some of the very aggressive uh, personal protective equipment um, that folks around the world were needing to wear and even our first responders um, were needing to wear where we were following potential um, Ebola patients and very aggressive special containment measures. That was because of how that virus spreads. This is not Ebola. Based on what we know about coronavirus, this spreads like the flu. We, we know that it has more potential for spread than flu because nobody is immune to it. We do not have a vaccine. There's also some evidence that people can transmit the disease earlier in illness. So one of the strong messages that we've been giving, you know, from the beginning, stay home if you're sick. And really, we've put a finer point on that. Stay home if you're even beginning to feel sick. First responders, healthcare workers, we're really used to toughing it out. You start to feel sick, you get a cough, you're not feeling great, and you say, you know, let me work for two or three days. Um, and then when my fever is really high, my cough's really bad, that's when I'll stay home. Because there is more potential for potentially spreading the virus early, we put in order here in Chicago by law that people, including the essential workers and the first responders, need to be staying home if they're feeling sick. 